Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for another episode of Guest Speaker Interview. It is so wonderful to have my special guest today. What my special guests do is teaching us something about breathing. Hey, we're on, we're human, we're on this earth, and we all need to know that uh, how to breathe properly because I'm one of those person that who have trouble breathing and especially when I experience anxiety or grief or loss oh, sometimes that chest feeling it just like that is so heavy we can't breathe so today I have my special guest Brenda here to helping us to understand how can we breathe better and especially on how to use breath work to breathe through the pain of separation and loss so brenda thank you for joining us please introduce yourself to our audience today hi martha thank you for having me hello audience my name is brenda winkle i I am so excited to be here. I went through a divorce of my own in 2007. And so I have so much compassion for what you're experiencing. I am an energy healer for high performers. I help people amplify, elevate, and expand their mission using somatic coaching, breath work, and energy healing. And so I'm so excited for this conversation around breath work because it's one of my favorite things. Oh, that is amazing because like we all know we're human, even animal or plants needs breathing, but not a lot of us understand why and how a breath work can help us. Would you be able to tell us a little bit more about that? Absolutely. So breath work is simply intentionally breathing. We all breathe. There's no barrier to entry. We all can, can breathe, but when we're practicing breath work, we are taking control over what is normally an autonomic system. In other words, we don't have to think about breathing. Our brain, our nervous system does it for us. And when we take control over that autonomic system, we can really embrace tremendous healing inside the body because yes. when we activate the breath, we're coming into the nervous system, into the somatic system, and we can release stuck emotionality. We can release stuck trauma. And all it takes is breath. Oh, interesting. I even went to a guy talking about breathing before, and he teach me how to breathe in the stomach and things like that to calm myself down. And yeah, to my surprise, it does work it does work but i do have a question is the healing that we're going to do using breath work is a is it permanent or it only work in that moment mm, i love this question so with breath work we are healing and we aren't going to need to reheal the same things now that said life continues to show us content, right? And so if I heal from my pain today of loss, and then I experience another loss, will I still feel pain? Well, yeah, you'll feel the pain of the new loss. But the pain that you feel today, you can release using the breath, and it'll be permanent. I see. That is good. That is actually very, very, very reassuring part because we're always scared that when we do something, uh, the pain will remain the same and it doesn't have any relief. And I think that is very important for our audience to understand that every time that you release something, you need to accept it in a conscious and in your unconscious level to truly accept that that energy has been released because mm -hmm. no matter what you exercise or brief work you do if you don't believe that you can be healed that you can get better nothing can get it done the worst thing that you can say to yourself is that oh i know i know what she's talking about i have heard about breath work before yeah i i, I tried it before and it never worked for me and that thinking and that mindset is like a gate that shut in front of you and it won't allow anything to penetrate to actually make you feel better so i always say that try to listen when you see some episode like this when you see other experts are here talking especially when brenda is here talking about breath work even you have heard about it before have that mentality of open-minded and accept what is to come because that's when you can let something 
go full into your unconscious mind so you can begin to heal that little person that is inside that's hurt and it's not your fault okay remember this is not your fault that you have that protective defensive mechanism coming out it is just because you've been hurt and it's completely okay so once you realize that that's when everything's starting to change that's when new habits new technology new ways that people are teaching you that you'll be able to absorb that and brenda that's one question that i want to know i love to actually have you to guide me for everything but i can't have you 24 7 so can we do this at home and ourselves is that what you're going to share with us you absolutely can you do breath work on your own now mm -hmm. if i guide you through an experience Mm -hmm. which I will. Um, mm -hmm. If I guide you through that, I am looking for cues in your body that mm -hmm. we've hit a capacity. Mm -hmm. So when you're breathing at home, you can absolutely do so safely. Mm -hmm. And you, what I would encourage you to do is to maybe set a timer for yourself okay. for two minutes or five mm -hmm. minutes or 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you stay within that range, you should be really safe. The thing mm -hmm. that I would invite you to do is to really listen to your body. You mm -hmm. are always your highest authority. Meaning if you get the sense that something isn't feeling good to you anymore, mm -hmm. stop doing it. Everything mm -hmm. that anyone would suggest, whether it's me or somebody else is an invitation. Mm -hmm. We always know what's right for us in our own bodies. Mm -hmm. And I do have a free gift for people if they want to go check out breath work, mm -hmm a little bit differently. I have a free gift that's breath work to strengthen and trust intuition mm. that also includes two breath patterns. So you mm. can try one out and see if you like it. And I, the link is just brendawinkle.com forward slash breathe. No problem. I will share that link into the comment there for so everyone who's interested and want to find out more to actually grab that copy. Because um, like I, it is hard, like we're talking on a topic about separation and loss. And a lot of people don't realize when we're separated from our partner, we're not only cutting off the ties that we have on our reality life, which is separating the house, separating finances, separating our time together. But there's also this energetic field that we are actually cutting off as well. And a lot of the time when we don't realize that we are energetically connected, it makes it very difficult for us to heal because mm -hmm. we're so connected together. And I do believe in breath work because it did help me to understand that, hey, when I'm hypo or at the anxiety or in such a pain, without giving our body, this is science now, going into the oxygens that we need, we won't be able to think properly. Just like that, that suffocated feelings. I'm sure a lot of us here have experienced when we're going through loss or separation or breakup. It is so hard to heal from that. So I would love for you, Brenda, to show us just a few tricks today to help us to learn to get through this process for with us. Mm -hmm. So I would love to just teach you a breath pattern that has mm. three parts, two one. inhales through the mouth, one mm -hmm. exhale through the mouth. We're going to inhale into the belly, okay. then into the chest and then out into the space. And so it's going to look like this. <sighs> and we're going to pull that first breath all the way down into the base of the belly, really expanding that second breath in the chest and then out. And we're going to do, I'm going to keep track of time. We'll mm. do approximately a minute's worth and yeah. then I'm going to invite you into a hold at the top, meaning I'll invite you to hold the breath with your lungs full, mm -hmm. and then we'll release the breath, take a quick break, and then uh -huh. I'll lead you through another round of breath, and then we'll hold the breath at the top of the next round, and then we'll do it one more time, and then we'll have you hold the breath at the bottom of the last time, and that means that we'll blow out all the air in our lungs and then hold that emptiness. Oh, I'm confused already. So let's do it because I think that's the best <laughs> way to learn because I'm confused already. Who are you? Who's here is confused as me. I'm like, I'm confused already of what All to right. do. Oh, you don't please. have to be confused. I will, I will guide you. So we're just going to begin by dropping in just a little bit. So invitation mm -hmm. just to notice the surface beneath you mm -hmm. and maybe notice your feet on the floor. And what we're doing right now is just building in presence 
and mindfulness of this moment. Invitation to notice your fingertips, maybe even rubbing your thumbs on your fingertips Mm -hmm. just to feel your body. Mm -hmm. And notice your natural breath. Just feel it going in and out. And as you bring awareness to the natural breath, invitation to set an intention. Perhaps it's to release the pain around loss. Perhaps it's to release anxiety. Whatever your intention is, it's welcome. And when you feel ready, we're going to begin the breath pattern. We'll breathe into the belly, into the chest, out into the space around us. Two inhales in, one exhale out. Keeping the breath going, you might begin to feel some sensation, invitation to shake the hands if they feel tingly, you might begin to feel lightheaded, that's all safe, that's all okay, just keep breathing. Invitation to hold the breath in at the top of the next inhale, sipping in all the air you can. Releasing when that feels complete for your body. Taking a couple natural breaths, just taking a quick break. Maybe shaking it off. Noticing how your body's beginning to respond to the increased oxygenation. Noticing that your emotions might be coming alive and that's okay. They're welcome. The breath is doing the work for us. And when you feel ready, we'll begin the breath again for our second round. Two inhales in through the mouth, one exhale out. Here we go. That's it. Keep the breath moving. Invitation to swallow if you need to. Lick your lips if you need to. And then come right back to the breath. Invitation to hold the breath in at the top of the next inhale. Sipping in all the air you can hold for your deepest breath yet. Releasing when that feels complete for your body. Taking a little break for some natural breath. Invitation to move, to shake. Realizing the release that's starting to happen now. Starting to feel some ease, a little bit of relaxation. Releasing stuck emotions. And then when you're ready, we'll come back into our third breath round. Here we go.
Now we're going to sip in all the air we can hold. Exhale everything out. And hold the exhale out at the bottom, holding that emptiness out. Sipping in air when you feel that air hunger in your body. And then coming back to your natural breath. Mm. Invitation to shake it out. How do you feel? I feel great. I can actually feel my lung expanding. I feel like that my, it's like we did free breathing activities and every single time I'm doing it, the chest actually hurt less and the amount of air I'm actually having in my body a lot bigger. And I also feel the tangling, the sensation on my feet and arms. So I love the fact that you tell me to shake it up, to let that oxygen and that sense is actually full. So that's actually really good. I found a great relaxation on it. So mm. audience, did you feel it as, as much as we did just here? Feel free to put your comments in the chat there so we know how you feel after going through this exercise with us because this is just the beginning. I want you to be able to experience what it's like to experience breath work because I know it may sound very woo-woo. It may sound something like, yeah, really, that does work. And I want you to be able to have that experience with us here and with our expert here, Brenda, to show you how to breathe correctly. That is a wonderful chances that we can get together. So with your comments below, I want you to write one more thing. How do you want us to help you with your breath work? Because me and Brenda are working together, trying to do up a workshop for you. Maybe something a little bit longer so we can go in as a group to release something that has been in your mind but you don't know how to get rid of it. But and again here, I thank you for Brenda for giving me and us her valuable time and expertise to help us go through this process. Because without trying at first, I know a lot of us may not believe it. So it's good that we have this opportunity to try and test it. Brenda, it has been such a wonderful pleasure talking to you today and giving us that opportunity to actually learn about breath work. Is there any other tips that you can give us before we wrap up today's session? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for having me, Martha. I have loved this. And this is just a taste. So a mm -hmm. typical breath work session will last 60 minutes. And so we breathe for about five or six minutes and it's amazing. And if you are really science minded, put, I want to see the science in the comments yes. because yes. I have got science articles literally coming out my ears talking wow. about the scientific benefits of using breathwork to release trauma, to lower blood pressure, to release anxiety, and just to increase your general effect in life. So thank you. Thank you for trying this. Thank you, Martha, for having me. Oh, thank you so much for coming on. And I like, I really feel the enlightenment and I can feel something is releasing. That's why that I'm actually using my tissue to wipe my eyes. So if you guys are wondering why, that's the reason why I can feel that release coming up, which is wonderful. And it is how it is. Sometimes our body is craving for a certain element, certain path so they can release and you may not know what that release is at this moment but your body will slowly tell you that is how you get that emotion now that is how you release the pain and that is how you move forward from here onward so thank you once again brenda for being with us and thank you for our audience for listening in today watching our breath work doing this with us and please do comment what would you like to hear from us and brenda in our upcoming workshop or webinar that we're doing so thank you once again everyone have a wonderful day thank you